Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9, this is equal to 3 to the power of 4, to the power of square root of 2, to the power of x. So what is the value of x? Now, let's provide a solution from here. So we have 9, this is equal to 3, to the power of 4, to the power of square root of 2, to the power of x. Now, we can express 9, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. So here we have 3 to the power of 2, this is equal to 3 to the power of 4, to the power of square root of 2, then to the power of x. Now, since the bases are common here, we have 3 is the same as 3 here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m, since the bases are common, then exponent n is equal to m. Now, applying this property, this implies that here, 2 is equal to 4 to the power of square root of 2 to the power of x. Now, the next step is that 2 is raised to the power of 1. And again here, we can express 4 in the term of in terms of 2. So this means that 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So this implies we have 2 to the power of 1. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of square root of 2, raised to the power of x. Now, we have that 2 to the power of 2, raised to the power of square root of 2 to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Now, applying this exponent property, then this is 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2, raised to the power of 2, multiplied by, into the parentheses, this is the square root of 2, raised to the power of x. Now, again here, we have that the bases are common here. That means that exponent 1 should be equal to 2 multiplied by square root of 2 to the power of x. So here we have 1 is equal to 2 multiplied by square root of 2 to the power of x. Now, the next step is let's divide both signs by 2 so that now 2 and 2 here simplifies so that we have the square root of 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to a half. Now, the square root of 2, this is in the form of square root of a, which we can express as a to the power of a half. And this implies that here, this is 2 to the power of a half raised to the power of x. This is equal to a half. Now we have that 2 to the power of a half raised to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Applying this exponent property, we have 2 to the power of a half multiplied by x, this is equal to a half. So this means that here on the left hand side we have 2 to the power of x over 2, this is equal to a half. Remember a half is in the form of 1 over, you can have 1 over a, and this is the same thing as a to the power of minus 1. Now applying this property, then this is the same thing as 2 to the power of minus 1. Again here, the bases are common here. That is a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. Then exponent n is equal to m. So this means that x over 2, this is equal to minus 1. So let's multiply both signs by 2 and also here by 2. And this implies that x here is equal to 
minus 2. Now we have x is equal to minus 2. So let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. So let's verify. Now, if you recall, we have that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 to the power of square root of 2 then to the power of x so let's substitute the value of x here so that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 to the power of square root of 2 then to the power of x which is minus 2 now we have that this particular part here that is square root of 2 raised to the power of minus 2 Remember square root of 2, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of a half. So substituting this, this means we have 2 raised to the power of a half, then raised to the power of minus 2. So this implies that here, we can simplify here. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of a half, multiplied by minus 2. Now, if you simplify 2 and 2 here, then this means we have 2 to the power of minus 1. Okay? So this, we can substitute this so that we have 9 should be equal to 3 to the power of 4, then to the power of 2 to the power of minus 1. Now, the next step is that if we check this part here, we have 4 to the power of 2 to the power of minus 1. So 2 to the power of minus 1, this is in the form of a to the power of minus n, which you can express as 1 over a to the power of n. Now, this implies that 9 should be equal to, so this is 4. If we check here, we have 4 to the power of 1 over 2. And we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of a half. So this means that 2 and 2 here simplifies so that we have 2. So let's substitute 2 back to the equation so that we have 3 to the power of 2. So this means that here we have 9 should be equal to, let's check if it's 3 squared, this is equal to 9. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is equal to minus 2, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.